with another video and today is going to be all on the favorites so if you're interested then just keep watching okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with skincare and this is a body gel and this is by soft services this is their speed soak skin rehydrating gel and when it says gel it is really a gel it typically it really looks like that kind of reminds you of olive vera and it, it's very fast absorbing I would say a drawback for me is that you only get 5.5 ounces of this so I typically like to use this in the daytime or let's say I'm getting ready to go somewhere fresh out of the shower and I need to put on something that's gonna hydrate my skin but not leave it greasy feeling so to speak you know some moisturizers or lotion you, you still feel it whereas some you know it just absorbs into the skin and then you're good to go as far as putting on clothes and things like that this particular item has 6% glycerin and 3% I'm gonna put the word right there on the screen I don't want to butcher it and those items are going to help your body or your skin retain the moisture also I like to use this particular gel immediately after I get out of the shower and I've done like a lot of videos where I talk about once you get out of the shower not when your skin is like dripping wet but when it's moist still moist then you go ahead and apply your body butters or creams or serums or, or whatever it is that you're going to apply and the idea behind that is to whatever moisture or hydration is on your skin once you begin to layer it with your serums and creams and oils and things like that it'll help your skin retain that hydration same with your skin care you know when you before you apply your essences or serums or moisturizers whatever type of skin care that you're going to use apply it to damp skin and that's the best as opposed to applying it to dry skin all right next up I have a hand wash and this is by Moroccan oil and comes in a container like this but this is one of the most hydrating hand washes I've ever used and at you know I don't mean to make a big deal out of a hand wash but I gotta ask you how many of you all have used a soap or a hand wash or whatever and then right after you wash your hands and you dry them they feel stripped and almost like they're gonna crack okay well this particular hand wash doesn't do that and you can see it's almost gone this is kind of they give you quite a bit of it this is how many ounces I don't even see how many ounces this is okay so this is 12.2 ounces and I just love it because if I just use let's say dial or some other soap that isn't hydrating immediately after I wash my hands I have to have some type of moisturizer on my hands simply because or should I say only because I don't like that cracky feeling on my hands I don't like it on my on my skin or my feet uh, please tell me I'm not the only one who is like that I, I, I hate that tight cracky feeling but anyway said all that to say this one you're not gonna get any of that and I don't remember how much this was but to me it's worth it all right so next up I have two fragrances and these are two fragrances that I really love to mix together or layer together these these two I would have to say are my husband's favorite anytime that I wear these um, I always get compliments from him and he loves it and the first one would be black opium and as you all know this one has the coffee accord it's got the vanilla accord and the white floral quartet and the other one that I like to layer with it is the soul Chirosa or so Cherosa. I know I'm butchering the name but it's 62 and this is it so this one has a salted caramel accord it's got a pistachio accord and it's got some vanilla in it so there's that vanilla you all know that I love vanilla fragrances but this is like when coffee pistachio and salted caramel when they meet and it is so divine and it's something about mixing these two together that just turns it into a unique fragrance so if you're ever in Sephora go by and just kind of smell one of these now this one uh, this fragrance is very similar to the bum bun and the oil and the uh, the deodorant that they have which spoiler alert is coming up next on my favorites but 
layering these two is lovely. Now, I gotta go into the oil. And this is by Sol de Janeiro. This is the Bum Bum Body Formenza Oil. This is it right here. Now, this is a firming oil and a hydrating oil. I can speak to the hydration of it. But the firming, now I've never been shy about talking about the cellulite on my body. I know I need to lose weight or whatever, but it's like here lately, the pounds have just been coming on and on. So I'm like, okay, I always get suckered into buying products like this. And it's saying, it says that if you rub it on your skin, if you put it on your skin, your skin will become less puffy. It, it will firm enough. So I'm, you know, I'm rubbing it, rubbing it, and I'm waiting on it to my skin to like firming up tighten up and I know you're you're just shaking your head at me like oh my goodness how can you be so foolish but anyway I can speak to the um, the moisture that it provides and as far as your skin appearing I would probably say uh, it does help it to or it has helped my skin to appear a little less fur, uh, puffy however to kind of firm it up and tighten up and just really address probably the problem that I have no not so much and it could be that you know my problem is so extensive that there's you know it's going to take more than oil to help it but as far as moisturizing I love it I like to put this on directly out of the shower and I like to layer my skincare, so, or excuse me, my body care. Uh, uh, if I have a serum or if I'm going to put on a body butter or moisturizer, and then the last thing that I would use just to kind of seal it in would be an oil, but I really love this. And I, I've gotten so addicted to like um, when I first bought it, just using a lot of it, and I found it. Uh, I've kind of found it going, found you know me using using it up pretty fast. And as you all know, skincare products, body products, anything, you know, is expensive these days. So I have to use it sparingly. But I really like it, and it could be. I think some of it also is that I like the scent. If you all are familiar with the Sol de Janeiro original scent with the salted caramel and the pistachio you know exactly what I'm talking about and this allows me to segue into their deodorant I love the deodorant and you know I did read in some reviews where people were speaking about the deodorant saying that it didn't help them I don't have any issues you know as far as feeling you know, or smelling funky after I've you know when I use this deodorant I'll use it you know when I go to bed I'll apply it and then I'll apply it again when I wake up in the morning so I've never had any issues and I've been out in the Sun you know where you know they you know you're gonna sweat and I've never uh, experienced that using this so I don't know I don't know if that depends on the person or what but these three products by Sol de Janeiro, I love it. I know for sure uh, once I run out of this, this is a um, refillable. I'm definitely going to buy some more of this. So definitely work, worth it. And those three definitely are my favorite. All right, next up I have a bag. And this is by Michael Coors. This is the Small Maryland satchel and this is the color block so part of it is light blue as you can see the bottom is dark blue it's got feet and on the sides it is white it does have a thin strap but this is so adores balls to me get the little uh emblem on the front and on the inside of it ooh, looks like this you get um, just a little pocketed area you don't get a zipper on the inside but this part right here is a pocket and that part right here but I just like carrying it because it's easy to carry if you have jeans I mean it's a no-brainer you just grab this or go and go if you have on white jeans or white pants grab it and go so this has definitely been my favorite now what I do like to wear with it are these shoes here they are right here so this has the like the the cushion I guess a uh, footbed or whatever and it's got the rhinestones and I have just been with a pair of jeans I'll just kind of pair these two together and it's been so cute now what I can tell you if you do like these pair last I checked they had the same shoe at Dillard's 
uh, but it was uh, bronze. It was the bronze color for like, I, may, I think maybe a hundred or it could have been less than that, but these are so cute and they're so comfortable. And when I saw these shoes, I was with my husband and we were shopping and I was like, oh my God, do you see these shoes are so cute. <laughs> he was like, those are the ugliest things that I've seen in my life. I'm like, oh my God, these are so cute. Um, so anyway, of course I didn't care if he thought they were ugly. His taste and my taste, they just never, they, they never align. Uh, but anyway, and also I have a hair product and this is by TGIN, thank God it's natural. And this is the Mir Miracle Repair Protective Leave-In Conditioner. Uh, it's with black castor oil plus biotin. And it's, it says it's an intense moisturizing leave-in conditioner that reduces breakage, repairs hair damage, and promotes growth. And it comes in a uh, container like this. And I'm sure all of you all, if you're a naturalista or, or whomever, you know, uh, I'm sure you're already familiar with this. I'm always late to any party, but I loved it so much I had to go back and get a large container of it and it works so so well and my hair is always soft anytime that I use it. Alright and the last thing that I have is by Skinny Girl and this is their smoothing shapers and this is called the Shaping WYOB Body Suit. It's a scoop of body suit and WYOB uh, wear your own bra and it looks like this. Okay it's a nude color. So not sure if you all remember my uh, previous um, favorites. I had some shorts. They kind of look like boy shorts. Well, anyway, these are made out of the same material except, like it says, you can wear your own bra. Okay, so I like this because um, when you wear the shorts, the shorts are great, right? But when you when you have on a bodysuit you know how sometimes uh if you bend over or if you you know just kind of move around your your body uh what am i trying to say your pants may roll down depends on you know how much you know action you got you got going on in the waist but if you have on a if you elect to wear a bodysuit that won't happen or let's say um you have on a dress like i like to wear this with dresses um i have the um i don't even know the style of the dresses but they just smooth you out all of all of my lumps and bumps and around the edges it has the laser cut so you don't have to worry about it digging in your skin and it just the scuba material is just really nice so if you're into that if you wear girdles or uh, shapewear and I just say girdles because my grandmother used to call it girdle girdle shapewear is also not at least I think so but if you are into that and you you'd like to have that smoothed out look um, definitely check this out and I always get these little pieces uh, from uh, TJ Maxx. I think that they sell them online at different places, but these are to die for. And I, again, I love the fact that it's uh, slippery. You know, some shape wear, some of the material, whatever clothes you're wearing, it can kind of stick to the clothes a little bit. But by this kind of mimicking that scuba material a little bit, it, whatever you wear, it's just going to slip, right? It's going to move on. You don't have to worry about it slipping to your girdle I hope, or your shapewear. I hope that makes sense. So that's it, short and sweet. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these items. If so, did they or did they not work for you? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches <sighs>